So the Quest 3 just released. And in my recent review, I said it was a great upgrade from the Quest 2 for both standalone and PC VR gaming, but just that I felt it was lacking some new and exciting content for its launch. Well, this week I've been checking out some awesome new games that I'll be able to talk about very, very soon. And I've been testing a bunch of Quest 3 accessories that I'll cover in this video. To say thank you to you all for your recent support, I'm going to be giving away this huge accessories bundle that Meta sent over after I'd bought all these accessories for myself. To enter, you need to be based in the UK because this box is far too heavy to ship to the US. And all you need to do is join my Discord, which is linked in the description below, and I'll host a little quiz over there very soon. But for now, let's jump straight into the accessories. Okay, so let's start with the brand new M3 Pro replacement head strap from Bobo VR. I've experimented with many different head straps over the years, and the M2 Pro was the one that I finally settled on for my Quest 2. So, needless to say, I was over the moon to hear that Bobo were making a Quest 3 version, which is this one, the M3 Pro. Installation is super simple. Just put pressure and gently twist the tabs here to remove the Quest 3's default material head strap. And then just slide the M3 Pro over the headset's arms. And if you want to, there's a little Velcro strap at the front of the head strap to help secure it in place. But personally, I don't think it needs it. The M3 Pro offers great support. And personally, I find it really comfortable to wear for long VR gaming sessions. And it's a significant upgrade in comfort over the default material head strap. Another benefit of the M3 Pro is the hot swappable battery that simply magnetically attaches to the back of the strap, giving you more VR playtime. One thing to note though, is that these batteries don't last quite as long with the Quest 3 as they did with the Quest 2, as the new headset consumes much more power. The Quest 3's standard internal battery will give you around two hours worth of playtime, and you can get at least an additional hour's worth of playtime with the Bobo battery installed on the strap. If you're like me and you bought a Bobo M2 Pro head strap for your Quest 2, Bobo are actually going to be offering a retrofit kit so you can use your Quest 2 strap on the new Quest 3. Huge props to Bobo for offering this kit. They could have easily just released the M3 Pro so everyone would have had to upgrade, but instead they're offering this kit for their loyal customers. Bobo make great products and it's awesome to see a company offering a solution like this. Both the head strap and retrofit kit will be available from Amazon very soon. Moving on to my favorite VR audio accessory, and I mentioned these in my Quest 3 review. These are the Anker Soundcore P10 wireless earbuds. I was previously a big fan of over-ear headphones with my VR headsets, but after using these awesome little earbuds, I now use them all the time with the Quest 2, Quest 3, and the big screen beyond. They're super comfortable, they isolate the sound really well, and they sound great, so you get completely immersed in your favorite VR games. They use this little USB-C dongle that just plugs directly into the Quest 3's USB-C port on the side, which transmits the audio to the earbuds wirelessly without any latency. This USB-C dongle can also pass through power to the headset. So when used in combination with the M3 Pro strap from Bobo, you can use the Bobo batteries with this plugged in without any problems. Just note that the dongle can't pass through data to work with, say, a link cable, for example. The earbuds will last around six hours before needing to be charged by the charging case. And the charging case can actually charge the earbuds an additional three times before it needs to be charged itself using USB-C. These are a great audio product for VR and I highly recommend them. This next accessory is for those of you that wear glasses in VR. These are prescription lens inserts from Zenni, which are sold directly through the MetaQuest website. These prescription lenses simply snap into place on top of the Quest 3's lenses, making it a really sleek and elegant solution instead of wearing glasses. The problem with wearing glasses in VR is that you have to be very careful to not let your glasses lenses touch the headset's lenses, as that can cause scratches on both, which could end up being a very unfortunate and expensive mistake. These prescription lenses are pretty reasonably priced at around 50 US dollars, 50 British pounds, and they've worked perfectly for me since I've been testing them out with the Quest 3 over the past couple of weeks. Moving on to the Quest 3 controllers, Meta are offering these official Quest 3 active straps. 
The active straps replace the traditional controller wrist straps with these material straps that attach the controllers directly to your hands, which I have to say I've always been a big fan of. I was surprised to see that these active straps actually replace the whole controller battery door cover and simply just slot into place. I think they look really smart and they have this soft material that can be adjusted using Velcro, but sadly they just don't quite fit my small hands very well. If you have larger hands, they'll probably work just fine, but they actually prevent my tiny little thumbs from comfortably reaching the top buttons and the thumbsticks. Personally, I prefer to use these old VR cover grips for the Quest 2 controllers, which work just fine with the Quest 3 controllers. The only downside is the VR cover grips don't work with the official Quest 3 charging dock that I'll be showing you shortly. Some people were concerned in the comments of my previous video saying that using grips like these might block some of the tracking LEDs on the bottom of the controller, but I have to say I've not experienced any loss of controller tracking using these VR cover grips so far. Moving on to the most expensive and probably most unnecessary accessory in this lineup, and that's the official Quest 3 charging dock. You may have heard me mention this in my initial hands-on impressions video, but the Quest 3 has these three pogo pin holes on the bottom of the headset, and these are specifically designed to be used with this charging dock accessory. In the box, you get the dock, which definitely feels like a premium product, a two meter USB-C to USB-C charging cable, and two replacement conductive rechargeable batteries for the Quest 3 controllers. On the front of the dock, it has these three charging status LEDs, which show orange when charging and green when the headset and controllers are fully charged. What I really like about this setup is that I can leave my Soundcore wireless transmitter plugged in with the M3 Pro's power cable and just charge the headset using the dock. I'm sure it would be fine, but just note that I wouldn't recommend having a battery in the Bobo head strap and charging the headset using the dock at the same time. While it is an expensive bit of kit, I don't regret buying it myself as I do plan to continue to use it as I do like the convenience of it. And finally, I left this accessory for last as it's completely unnecessary and purely cosmetic. This is the blue replacement facial interface and head strap kit. Now this comes in two colors. It can come in blue and it comes in a bright, vibrant orange. Over the years, I've always used different color facial interfaces to make my headset stand out from the crowd on YouTube. So I immediately bought this blue one. This kit uses a similar material to the default material facial interface that ships with the Quest 3. It's just that it's in blue. They both feel exactly the same in my opinion. It does also come with a blue material head strap, but there's no way I'm gonna be using that. Now I have the M3 Pro head strap from Bobo VR. So that's the lineup of my favorite accessories for the Quest 3. What I love about these accessories is that they all work perfectly together. Well excluding the VR cover grips, of course, because sadly they don't work with the official charging dock. But now that I've got my Quest 3 dialed in, I'm much more comfortable. I have great audio. The image in the headset is sharp and clear, and I never have to worry about running out of battery life ever again. If you have any questions about any of these accessories, please put them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer as many questions as I can. The links to all these accessories are in the description below. These are my personal affiliate links. It just means that if you buy a product through these links, it doesn't cost you any extra, but it helps to support the channel. Another way to support the channel is to leave a cheeky little like on this video if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe for all my future Quest 3 content. And as always, I'll see you all on the next one. <laughs> Cheers.